It's December 16th, which means it's my husband's birthday. So happy birthday, Dan. I'm very excited because we're going out for dinner tonight. And in yesterday's video, you guys helped me to pick a thrifted outfit to wear out to dinner. Stay tuned till the end of the video to see what I end up wearing. But as part of my get ready with me for my husband's birthday, I'm going to be curling my hair. And I'm going to be curling it using my infamous fake Dyson air wrap from Wish. I uploaded a video last week where I was testing out hair curlers from Wish and this one was the star of the show. This amazing pink cordless hair curler was the best thing that I have ever bought from Wish. It doesn't have the longest lasting battery life but it does give me a great curl that most other products can't seem to provide. The way that this works is very similar to the way that the Dyson Airwrap works and I've never used a Dyson Airwrap before but my friend Lucy who happens to be staying with me right now owns one herself and she just so happened to have brought it with her on her trip from Queensland. So Lucy, I've been advised by Daniel, look you have 45 minutes. That okay. his, that's his exact wording. You have well, 45 minutes. <laughs> you do of, have 45 minutes. That's uh, no, no, so, I've probably got 40 now. You know that's like the Conair, right? The what? The Conair? The uh, Conair. You know, you color? could keep saying it and <laughs> no, it's not gonna. It's the Conair. No Is that a brand? Oh, yeah. It, does it look like this? Yep. Oh. <laughs> well, so it's not a fake air wrap, it's a fake. No, no, no. They do sell fake air wraps, but that's not a fake air wrap. Oh. It's a fake Conair? It's a fake, I think it's the Con Air, but there's a few <laughs> brands, but yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the this. irony of the fact that it's called Con Air. Is this your, this is your thingy? Yes. Oh, Sorry, no, it's I've, a little bit gross because I've been using it. I've never seen one before. Mm -hmm. uh, isn't it supposed to have like a hole? A hole? Yeah, isn't that meant to be like a circle? Um, that's the dryer attachment. Oh. oh. So there's the Dyson Air Dryer and then yeah. there's Dyson Air Wrap and they're two different things, but the Air Wrap has an air dryer attachment. I which see. I didn't bring. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so what have you got here? These are the like small barrel hair colors. Oh, hang on. Are you telling me it doesn't actually suck it into it? it no. But it sucks it around it? Yeah. Oh my God. Let's put them both to, to the test and mm -hmm. see which one works better. So yeah. I was thinking maybe you could do one side of my head. Yes. I'll do the other. Ooh. We'll double hand it because you have 45 minutes. Uh, 40 you now. 40. 37? Okay, 43. <laughs> okay. We don't really have enough time to explain anything else. So uh, <laughs> watch the video where I unbox this. I'll link it down below if you want an explanation about this. Mm -hmm. But I don't need my hair to be wet for this to work. Okay. But do, does it need to be wet for your I thing recommend it to be a little bit damp. Okay, all right, hang on. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> no! <laughs> ah! Oh, I feel like I'm- That's how you survive the Australian <laughs> summer. I feel like I'm on Jungle River Cruise. Thanks for that. <laughs> by the way, I'm not a hairdresser, by the way, so no one come for me. I just use this on myself and well, like- Well, you know what? I am, actually. Oh, I'm you're- a, oh, I'm a hairdresser. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to the Pretty Pastel Salon. Yeah. I've got a lot of experience. See ya, Brad. See ya, Paul. <laughs> Don't need you anymore. Show me how you do one. I'll show you how I do one. So, I just have to something like this. Will get really annoying. So by my the way. friend has one of these, but it's a Conair. Like she has one that she bought from like Priceline or ah. Meyer or something. So they're like legit brands that do these. No hate. Look at that. Wah wee wah wah. So there's like little arrows on them. We're gonna go facing outwards. So this one. Okay. Right. Away from your face is assuming how you're curling it. I don't know. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. This one go, goes in different directions. All right. Oh, so this is, it's got L written on it, like left. <laughs> so it's curling to the left, like everything I own in the box. So that's, so to, left is that way. To the left. So yeah. you want to go to the right. I, I want to go to the right, do I? Yeah, because it's the right side of your head. You, oh. typically you want to curl away from your face. Not always, but typically. Okay, you show me. All right, I think, oh, it's so weird because when you're doing it yourself. Oh yeah, so it's going the other way. It's hard to normally do it yourself. So let me just... Oh! Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> yeah, and then you just like hold it. It's so cool! Yeah, I know. And then you just like... Sorry, I'm... it's really hard to do it with another person, but you just hold it. And then you flip it to the cool setting. And then the air cools down to set it. And then... It was expensive, so you'd better hope it works. And then... Oh my god! It's so cool! Yeah. I want one! <laughs> oh my god! Every single time I've done it like on a friend or a friend's like come over and tried it. It's amazing! Yeah, so then like... What? Yeah, so I'll do another one. 
Wow, so I had no idea it was that good. Yeah, so it sucks. So each of these little grooves here, air comes out. So it's like... I'm gonna get all the ends on first. Again, it's so much easier to do on your own because you just like hold it like that. Do you know what I mean? And you just feel like that. And you're gonna wanna hold, when you hold it, okay, ready? And then you push this button up and you just hold it. It's like a soft hold button. You just hold it up until it is cool. And then, yep. Okay, and then you can probably let it go now and then just turn it off. And then slide it off. Yeah. Here I was like, <laughs> Dyson Air Wrap, who? <laughs> Yeah, you were like, it's definitely going to be comparable. And I was like, well, I think not. <laughs> it's so quick. <laughs> Yours is so fast. Yeah. Should we do like a time? We should like time it and see how long it takes. Because right. I'll let you catch up. Shall I? I'll let you do uh, one more. It's 10 past on your five. Side. My rod's a little girthy. <laughs> I've got mine set to like seven seconds per thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Now that uh, we've had our test run and we're ready, mm -hmm. We're gonna start the timer and we're gonna have a bit of a competition and see which side gets done faster. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one, one go. go. Oh, you're done. Yeah, I'm done. Well. Does it look all right? You can check and see if it's not done. I can it's maybe, really I'll cute. Okay. I'll read you the front. How are you going? Oh yeah, you're still... I'm a, a little oh, bit slow. Yeah. <laughs> Look how different the curls are! <laughs> yeah, well this one's a lightly... It's a bigger barrel, but yeah. So normally I do like two layers, like I'd pin the top half of my hair up and do the bottom layer. Oh! Uh oh. I have a feeling something went wrong just then. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. <gasps> my hair is stuck. You're not serious. My hair is stuck. You're not serious. My hair is stuck. You're not serious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. okay. <gasps> chill, 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 chill. Oh, f you. Oh, f oh, oh no. Gosh. I did it at the wrong angle. I thought it was getting tangled as it was winding. Oh. I was like, something doesn't feel right. I got you. I got you. So, can I just say, I haven't had that happen to me with the air wrap. <laughs> That was so scary. I'm so glad you were here. If you weren't here, I would literally have cut it. I no! would have just been like, no, nah, there's no saving this. I mean, cutting is like fine. Like do whatever you want. It's your hair. Like seriously. Because I like the curls though. They're really nice and tight. It is yeah. a different kind of curl. Yeah. This is more of that like. Um, wow. It's it's such a big difference. It's, it's in just the a style. bigger curling once. It's a little hard to compare. But Would you want to give it a try? Uh, yeah. You just like hold the hair like this and you mm -hmm. put it like that and then you hold down the start button. Yeah, like that. Yeah. And then just hold down the button and it'll suck, like draw it in. And wait until it beeps and then you can let go of the button. Interesting. And okay, then well it's not difficult to use. No, it's easy to it's use. It's easy. Even a, a numpty like me can <laughs> use it, it's fine. Hey, I'm Captain Numpty around here. Okay, <laughs> you can okay and you're done. Numpty. Oh, that, I think it's nice. I will say, I think the, these ones are shinier. That's the one thing I've heard about the Dyson Air Wrap is because it's like yeah. air and it's not like a heating iron. It doesn't get the same shine. That's interesting. I, that didn't even occur to me. It is shiny on this mm, side. It's shinier. Yeah. And this side is like flat. Yeah. It's not the fastest. I'll say that. What time is it? Time check. 5.20. Okay. Can you get ready in 20 minutes? Yes. Okay. Uh, all I need to do is put on false lashes <laughs> and I'm ready. <laughs> Hacks. Okay. I, I don't think this is difficult to use at all. I think this is very user friendly. It's fine. Oh, did I? Yeah, you're done. All right, cool. Whoops. When the offensive beeping stops, you are done. <laughs> there might be a few that could possibly oh, yeah. need redoing. Mm, really? Wow. No, I'm kidding. I, I like the look of it. It's a little hard to compare. This is like a thinner curling rod and the Dyson one is just thicker. And that's the thinnest one they do at the moment, I think. That one? Yeah. There's a uh, thicker one as well. Okay, how's it looking? I think, so it's got a lovely shine to it. Do you normally brush it out or do you? I think I'm gonna have to brush this side out so that it matches your we side. We can brush them both out a little bit. Um, Actually, I will do one thing though, just really quickly. Okay. I'm just gonna like. Oh, can you do my fringe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, it's so cute. And then, and this one is going that way. Someone's rolling towards your head. Oh. So I sometimes, mine's a little bit longer. I've got more like, and bangs. 
Did you just say you've got curtain bangs? I do have curtain bangs. You know, Lucy, that's a very mean thing to say. Touchy subject. Look, I realized, I don't know if you heard, as I was saying it, I was like, I realized what I was saying. <laughs> and I was like, ooh. That's so cool. I'm not a hairstylist, no one at me, but I think that's you, cute. You are when you own one of these things. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. The other side as well. I love it. And you got it. Yeah, it's really good. Like, I feel like I was inept with a hairdryer or a curler or a straightener, but this, I feel like I actually like, like how I look with my hair done. And it is really easy. I do it like once a week. For me, it was worth the investment. I know it's really expensive, but um, they have like a 30 day like trial. So I was like, if I hate it, I don't oh. really get used to it. Oh, you get it like a refund, do you? Yeah. Where'd so, you buy yours? Um, I bought mine from David Jones because they had a really good deal on. Okay. Um, but sometimes like Sephora does 20% off and stuff like that. So that's when you should get them. How much is that? I think it's like 700. Oh my God. <laughs> it's really joke. expensive. What? <laughs> but keep this in mind, okay, right? Like how many, how much are normal Australian curling irons and straighteners? Like if you got one from GHD or Cloud9. 50 bucks. No, they're not. What are they? Cloud9 straighteners or like GHDs, they're like $200. Well, you know what? This was like 30. Yeah, and so I it's look, good. Yeah, look. it's good. I think it's good. $700, go away. But this is my dryer and my curler and like almost my straight, I can, so I can do like salon like smooth blowouts as well. Like straight hair. That's I know it's an insane wild. amount of money, but I had, it had a percentage off and it had a $100 cash back voucher. So it came down to about like 600 or 500 and something. You know, I 100% understand wanting one. Like, uh, Lucy just used it on me and I, I don't think my hair's ever looked so nice in my entire life. Um, I want one. But also, oh, I understand I understand people's hesitation in not wanting to pay yeah. that much oh, money. Oh, 100, I, but I slept it, on it for months. When I go to the hairdresser and I get like a wash and a blow dry. Mm. Okay, slay. What do you want? What, why, why? Off, I think. Yeah. When I go to the hair salon and I get a wash and a blow dry, mm. I think it costs me about eighty or ninety dollars mm. for like a blow dry, mm. nice sort of styling. Uh, and if I did that a couple of times a year, I suppose I've kind of paid for, you know, if if I did that once a month, that's yeah. how much an air wrap would cost. So if it if it means that you don't end up going to the hair salon to get it styled because you can give yourself a salon style blowout at home. Mm. I definitely think that it's worth the investment. My hair has literally never looked that nice. I think anyone that's been watching my channel for a while can oh, agree. I think, like, I don't know. I think the other side looks really nice too. I think you I need to a little brush out brush it out with some so, fingers. And uh, let's put some product in. And speaking of time, and oh, that's all that I was gonna say. Yeah, you've I got have to, ten minutes. You had to go. The Dyson hair wrap for me is like so fast, and that's like the difference. So I bought some products because I liked the look of the packaging. There's Hair by Sam McKnight, and there's this cool girl, Barely There Texture Mist, Lazy Girl Dry Shampoo, Easy Updo Texture Spray, and Modern Hairspray Multitask Styling Mist. One thing about the Dyson is not as shiny as when you use a straightener or a curler. So I always add a little bit of a shine mist or something, and then I feel like it looks the same. Oh, oh, it smells like cologne. Smell. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. It smells like men's cologne. No, I love that. How would you recommend I brush out these curls? Like, I what's... just do it with your fingers. With my fingers? Yeah, I would just do a little finger tussle. Okay, so... <laughs> it looks so different. Um... I really, I really thought we would have the same result on both sides, but... Uh... Um... Uh... <laughs> it's because it's a smaller barrel and then you can't really like do anything about that. It's not a terrible difference, right? No, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe if you brush it on this side. Yeah, it's the little ringlets that are kind of like making it look super different. All right, it's not embarrassing. I was like, it's not embarrassing. I'm gonna look really silly. I'm gonna look like the Too Faced. Like, <laughs> beautiful on one side. I think they both look nice. I think if you had either of them the whole way around, I think it would look good. Okay, so the, the test is going to be now in how long do these curls last? So I'm gonna mm. get changed going out to dinner. I'll be out for hours and then we'll sit down when I get back and we'll see whether the air wrap side or the wish side lasted for longer. Oh, you look like um, Pretty Boop and the girl from Captain America. Peggy Carter. Peggy Carter. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're ready. 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 Let's go. Is this the thrifted one? Yes, this is thrifted. Um, Lucy and I got this yesterday. Nice. It's vintage. And my necklace is thrifted. My bag is thrifted. 
Alright, right, you guys get out of Bye. My god, can someone that lives in Sydney please explain to me why this hell hole that we call Parramatta happens to be the place where all the good restaurants are? I hate it here. You spend an hour looking for a parking spot. You, you literally spend more time looking for a parking spot than you spend... Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so good. I definitely picked the right pair of shoes to wear tonight. Terrible idea wearing high heels. Hey guys, update here. Should we just cut back to the uh, so glad I wore these shoes? <laughs> so glad I wore these so shoes. Glad I wore these shoes. <laughs> the blisters are real. Oh. Well, it's probably been about three hours since we did my hair, and I don't think that it looks any different. I think that it's probably about the same as it was when we started. Maybe the wish side has drooped a little bit. Hard to tell while I'm walking, but hey, at least all this wind that my hair is being exposed to is a good test of its endurance. Oh, we're home. I'm so tired. I need to get changed. Ugh. All right, well, now that I'm home, it's time to settle down and relax. And uh, it's about 9.30 at night now. I'll be up for quite a few more hours yet. I may even go to sleep with my hair like this and then record in the morning and see how it's held up. our lesson everyone we learned a lesson from 2021 so seeing as it's midnight the curls have been in since 5 p.m so seven hours seven hours since we curled my hair what do you think which side's looking better i think they both look about the same to be honest so interrupting cat alex was just sleeping on this side so it's a skewed <laughs> test The test. Alright, so I guess I'll try to sleep on this side now and we'll report back in the morning. Bye. Well, good morning friends. It is 7 o'clock in the morning, which means it's been over 12 hours since we put the curls in my hair and uh, both sides are still holding their volume. I would say that neither side is performing better than the other, to be honest. I think the only real difference here is that the curls that the air wrap gave me are more of a wave. And obviously the wish side they are actual like barrel curls but brushing them out they look somewhat similar I think that these ones it looks like they're probably curled in the wrong direction I would say I think that's my fault user error I should have curled them in the other way and they should have matched this side but aside from that I am going to personally say that the end result between the Dyson and the Wish product is very comparable. The Dyson is an absolutely incredible product. Lucy having used it on my hair yesterday for literally five minutes and getting that result does make me want it desperately. But the Wish side gives me my desired effect for a fraction of the price, $30 or whatever it was, does take a bit longer, yes, but the curls have lasted just as long. And I would say that it's just as easy to use as the air wrap. So I really don't know now. I'm at this point where Christmas is right around the corner and an air wrap would be most certainly a fantastic idea for a Christmas present 
for myself. But as long as that product I own from Wish is still working, I don't think I need to get an air wrap. I don't know guys, tell me in the comments below. Let me know, do you think I should get an air wrap? I wouldn't mind getting one if I could find one secondhand. If I could stalk the Facebook marketplace, I might be able to find one that someone's selling and if they were selling it for like 400 at, at most, I don't think I'd want to go higher than $400 to be honest. So if I could find one secondhand, I'd be able to get one. But until then, I'm going to be happy with my little wish con air copy. So that's it for today. That's everything. But this afternoon, my friends Sam and Michelle are coming over. Lucy, Sam and Michelle are going to help me do something new to my hair. Now, originally my plan was to dye it black and give myself a Bixie cut. And if you don't know what a Bixie cut is, it's like a combination between a bulb and a pixie cut. But after having my hair curled yesterday, I've loved it at this length so much that part of me is like, mm, delay the haircut a little bit longer and enjoy it at this length. So maybe I'll only dye it black today? Or should I do the Bixie cut today? Because inevitably hair grows and it will grow back to this length, at which point I can enjoy it. Should I do the Bixie cut and then have like a little pink Bixie cut? I don't know. So two options, right? Black hair, this length, pink Bixie cut. Please choose for me. I am terrible at making decisions for myself, as we learned when I asked you guys to pick my thrifted outfit for last night. So let me know in the comments down below what I should do with my hair this afternoon. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah!